Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article is called Three Types of Tears. So we have three different types of tears and we know tears is the liquid coming from our eyes. So as you can see in the picture, uh, that child has tears coming down, but then there's three types, three different kinds of tears. Let's find out. So basal tears are always in our eyes. So this type of liquid, it's always there in our eyes. Their job is to keep our eyes clean and moist, right? So in our eyes, we know that it's not dry. Imagine if your eye was very dry, then it would hurt when we blink. Right? So uh, just like that, it's always kind of moist. It's always kind of wet, a little bit wet, so that our eyes can be clean right? uh, and moist. So here it says, when dust and dirt enter our eyes, more basal tears are made to wash away the dirt. So if something gets in our eyes, then our eyes make more tears so that it can wash away. Kind of like how when we get our hands dirty, we go under the sink and we wash it. In the same way, when something dirty comes into our eyes, our body makes more tears to kind of uh, rinse it out, okay? So these are called reflex tears. So we have one type of tear and they're called reflex tears. And reflex is a reaction. It's how you act to something else. So if I see a bee around me, then I would do this. That's a reflex or blinking. When someone throws something near my face, those are reflex. It's something that our body reacts. So when we have reflex tears, that means our body is just trying its own automatically to try to get out something dirty uh, in our eyes and keep it clean. So those are called reflex tears, one type of tear. Our eyes also cry when we feel sad or happy. They release tears to help the body relax. These are called emotional tears. So when we're very sad or when we're very happy, we start crying and those are called emotional tears. So uh, we have uh, tears that help us relax. So sometimes uh, after you cry and you're sad, right, you kind of calm down and that helps you relax. Sometimes if you're very, uh, if you laugh at a very funny joke and you're laughing and you're crying and then after a while it helps you calm down, relax. So those are called, right, uh, emotional tears. So there's different types of tears. We have tears in our eyes that help clean. Uh, we have tears in our eyes that help keep it moist and tears in our eyes for uh, when we cry, right? So we have uh, basal tears, we have reflex tears, and we have emotional tears. Three types of tears uh, that are used for different things. Okay, very interesting. Uh, let's take a look at today's uh, article. And if you look at that, we don't know if that's uh, reflex tears or emotional tears, but those are definitely tears. Basal tears are something in our eyes. So what are they in our eyes? Uh, are they made in our eyes? That's true. But what is it that we read uh, in today's article? They are always in our eyes, right? So without basal tears, it will be very difficult for us to use our eyes in a correct way. And the second part, it says more basal tears are made when something and dirt enter our eyes. So what comes in our eyes and then our eyes make more uh, basal tears? When dirt and dust, right? So if you get dust in your eyes, especially around the time when there's a lot of yellow dust, that's when you will see uh, more basal tears. And the last part, it says our eyes also cry when we feel very sad or what is the opposite of sad? So these are types of emotional tears. So we said very sad or very happy. So those are uh, the different types of tears. So we have basal tears, uh, we have reflex tears and emotional tears. So let's look at the last part. Let's choose the correct words to finish the sentences from the reading. So it says the job of basal tears is to keep our eyes clean, cute, bright, and moist. So which one is it? Is it clean and moist? cute and moist and or bright and moist. Well, we didn't really talk about tears being cute or tears being bright. So the basal tears help keep our eyes clean and moist. So moist means a little bit wet, right? So it's not completely dry and clean. All right, the part B says the eyes make reflex tears to slide away, push away or wash away the dirt from our eyes. So we talked about this too in the article, just like how when we wash our hands under the sink, they want to wash away the dirt from our eyes. So the next time you get something in your eyes, 
uh, remember today's article and see how your body, your eye creates more basal tears uh, so that you can wash away the dirt or the dust in your eye. And the last one, the eyes make basal tears, emotional tears, or reflex tears to help the body relax. So when you have basal tears, it's usually just to kind of keep your eyes moist and reflex tears are when you get something stuck in your eye. And do those things help you relax? Mm, I think it's more of when you're very happy or very sad and you cry. Those are which tears? Those are emotional tears. So from today's article, we learned that there's three different types of tears. You always have uh, basal uh, tears in your eyes so that it keeps it moist. You also have reflex tears when you get something stuck in your eye and it wants to wash it out. And emotional tears. And those are the tears that we cry when we're very happy or sad and they cause us to relax. Well, after hearing about these three different tears, you may be able to now understand why people cry and what is actually happening when they cry. So I hope you share this information with other friends and your family. So I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.